चैप्टर सेवन वर्स नंबर नाइंटी फाइव और मे बी नाइंटी फोर वी डिट डू नाइंटी फोर स्वामी देर फोर the expanse of the world of plurality in the pure self can justify the existence of ignorance the student is hell bent on proving that if name and form is only an appearance then the cause of it is ignorance why do you insist why do you insist that it is the pure self maybe the student is just taking the mickey out of the teacher <laughs> so his argument goes the student's argument therefore in this absolute self which is one without a second and in which plurality is definitely experienced uh, its cause the ignorance definitely exists and it can be proved without any effort in this way the opponent or student establishes that ignorance exists in the atman on the strength of logic and pramana vichar remember any of the pramana any of the authorities do not qualify to prove the uh, truth and here he gave these examples uh, uh, that the, that that there is a cause and the world is the effect and yeah another example he took was on waking up the sleep disappears and after waking up a person cannot know the sleep yet the sleep can be inferred from the dream it generates that means even though it was a state of nothingness we were not we when we wake up we are not experiencing the state of nothingness yet we infer the state of nothingness which is called sleep uh exactly the same way we must we, we should we can infer the existence of ignorance uh, uh, in the, uh, we can infer the existence of ignorance in the truth and that is what he is trying to prove so long as one has the conviction that i am this body no spiritual unfoldment is possible that he, swami ji is saying this and and this is also the the conviction which leads to fear on the seat of meditation day before last week's meditation it is only by dropping the attitude of kartavya karma and discovering the attitude of a devotee that the individuality get, can get dissolved only then will it be possible to transcend the igno this ignorance as well as the bodies see the problem is the seeker is hell bent on proving that there is ignorance and from the absolute point of view there is no ignorance and there is no knowledge ab kar lo kya karna hai what will you do
it's like we are in the day everything is being illuminated by the sunlight everything is all the names and forms are being illuminated by the sunlight you can come to cognize them only in the light of the sun and you are saying that all the names and forms are product of darkness what is the position of the sun from the point of position of the sun there is no darkness possible also no light possible <laughs> see this is where the student is stuck here nyaneshwar maharaj is saying all this so that we don't get stuck in these absurdities it is on ha uh, so swami ji is telling here that only by devotion only by surrender only by grace of the divine uh, what what do we mean by surrender here and devotion it means the melting away of our individuality as how long will the individuality remain as long as body identification remains but when we surrender and uh, are devoted to a higher uh, goal to god to parmatma then to that extent to the extent of our surrender it's not only surrender is not in you know, grades but in that uh, higher uh, contemplation the lower drops away what is the lower the body identification only then will it be possible to transcend the ignore this ignorance as well as the bodies as long as we remain even a teeny mini bit attached to the body till then this idea of, of ignorance will continue to persecute us the only way to go beyond is to go beyond knowledge and ignorance is to go beyond day and night that is transcendence sun is transcendental to day and night unaffected by day and night uninfluenced by day and night uncorrupted by day and night day and night for us will be what day will be waking and dream night will be sleep who are you the eternal witness of both transcend be fired up uttishth jagrat prapte varan nibodata arise awake to that conscious principle that uh, that you are <laughs> but we keep insisting on being the body and while we are being the body the multiplicity is real and as long as multiplicity is real or duality is real till then transcendence is not possible the eagle's view of the whole uh, how life is expressing that is not possible and therefore uh, true knowledge cannot be gained by keeping the individuality intact knowledge which establishes duality multiplicity manyness is not knowledge true knowledge is that which establishes oneness in spite of the manyness and that is why we are continuously in satsang we are continuously engaging with bringing our attention to that one unified principle otherwise uh, whole life to to mai mai chinese or indian i am from north maharashtra or south maharashtra i am from east karnataka or west karnataka i am brahmin i am kshatriya i am shudra i am vaishya i am rich i am poor i am successful i am unsuccessful 
आई एम हेल्दी आई एम अनहेल्दी ऑल दीज ऑपोजिट्स एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर बॉडी आइडेंटिफाइड दीज ऑपोजिट विल परसिक्यूट अस एंड ऑल अवर एनर्जी मीनिंग थिंकिंग इज हाईजैक्ट बाय ऑल दीज ऑपोजिट्स because we are body identified and we are never available to that higher principle we are never available to the consciousness that is independent of this uh, duality true knowledge is that which establishes oneness in spite of the manyness we are not here to remove the manyness we are not here to remove the mirage waters just understanding that mirage waters are not real is enough so what is your attitude towards the mirage waters or the rainbow that attitude should be towards this body also what is that Ah, it is doing what it has to do. Mind is thinking what it has to think. Eyes, senses are seeing what they are. What is their job? They are doing it. What should I do then? Rather than take charge, rather than worry about it, be attentive of the one who is witnessing all this. Be the witness. shift your attention away take it away from the body and its problems and its consequent uh, you know results relationships possessions fears aspirations memories expectations etc and shift your attention to the conscious principle then how will it be it will be like in the sleep your body is turning but you are unaware of its turning the your hand has gone and scratched wherever the itch is or hit the mosquito but you are unaware for a slight moment you come out of the sleep because you hit yourself because the mosquito was but very next moment again you dive back into the sleep this is how mahatmas are for teeny mini moment they come out because of some event but immediately they get uh, they go back to the consciousness that they are ramakrishna parahans used to be fed rasgulla so that he comes back and answers their question <laughs> so there is nothing new that is being told we are experiencing that we know but we are making believe that we don't know all the techniques are there all examples are there within this life the opponent who has been so far arguing so vehemently to show that ignorance exists in the atma is only betrayed by the bheda drishti by his bheda drishti giving importance to the word and its plurality world and its plural plurality to change this wrong conviction into right conviction and then to go beyond all convictions is called amruta anubhav to him who appreciates his own insignificance and who has surrendered at the feet of the lord the truth uh the truth tatva nirnay reveals itself it is knowledge without a knower kathopanishad the knower the individuality has to die okay. to change this world wrong conviction into right conviction what is wrong conviction i am the body what is the right conviction i am the consciousness only this has to be remembered day in and day out every moment
confusion and then go beyond all convictions first recognize first give up sleep be, be awake if you are sleeping there is no possibility of uh, transcending so first become awake don't be lazy don't have prama don't be procrastinate then what do you be awake awake being awake is the sattva 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 state pure state what is that waking be awake now what do you do after giving up all tamas all inertia now you wake up from the waking also then you are not just waking up from sleep uh, your sleep and waking both of it uh, you transcend from night you come to the day and from the day you come to the sun from sleep you come to the waking in the waking we are awake i can see oh my god this 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 where is the light coming from is it coming from the night is it coming from sleep no it is coming from the sun oh sun is illuminating sun is giving the light to the uh, to the earth then remain conscious who is giving light to the who knows the sun i how do i know because i see oh then i is illuminating the sun who is illuminating the eye the mind is illuminating the eye physical eye who is illuminating the mind the eye is illuminating the mind come back come back to the conscious principle eye is essentially the chaitanya vastu the conscious principle and when that happens when you come to establish in yourself then there is no individuality it is the in, it is in the individual that the no or non difference is valid when the individual has merged surrendered to the infinite to the lord the seeker and sought are have become one then where is the individuality no individuality therefore it is an experience less experience it is a knowing less knowing see gyaneshwar maharaj now gives his reply to the argument presented in the above aga aisi agnana te अज्ञान अज्ञानमहणे केऊते काय दिवो करी तया ते अंधार मणिये मणिपे ही सेज हाउ कॅन वी कॉल द आत्मन विच इल्युमिनेट्स एव्हरीथिंग एज इग्नोरन्स हाऊ कॅन वी कॉल आत्मा एज इग्नोरन्स बिकॉज इट इज द इल्युमिनेटिंग इल्युमिनेटिंग मीन्स लाईट दॅट विच कॉजेस द डे can we call it darkness is it possible the darkness is illuminating the day ignorance is the cause of the world hey tere ki ignorance is cause of the world so are you ignorance incarnate or are you consciousness incarnate in the dream from the mind the total dream creation came 
in the light of the mind the whole creation was perceived is that mind darkness or is that consciousness that mind is nothing but consciousness is that consciousness darkness is that consciousness ignorance is mind if if mind is consciousness then everything that has been projected out of the mind is also nothing but consciousness the entire dream world is not existing outside the mind for the people who are in the dream they are talking to each other i am ignorant i am seeking i want to know my source i am also consciousness each individual is thinking there also satsang is going on their attention is on all the variety what is the position of the mind i not the individual mind the mind in which the whole dream world is happening what is the position of that mind i alone am it doesn't even say that but for the individual mind of every person in the dream think so here he says the statement in this ov is called pratiknya vakya uh, the truth is explained in a specific statement how can anything in the consciousness conscious self be called ignorance that which illumines how can you call it call that darkness here whether you take it as the sun or you take it as the conscious self that you are now here your perception about yourself has to change if you think of yourself while listening to this text as an individual as a seeker as an ignorant one you will never understand this text or why I take the whole text even this verse then what is the position that you have to take you have to take the position that you are the infinite one let the ears listen let the mind think let the intellect be convinced but you continue to be the transcendental one and that will not happen by your thinking that will not happen by your thinking it will happen in spite of your thinking transcendence is not the conscious self is not a result of thinking how can anything in the conscious self be called ignorance that which illumines how can you call it call that darkness there are two ways of looking at multiplicity one that the multiplicity is this is the first one and the second and the other that multiplicity is because there is a seer to see it two ways except multiplicity is story over and the other way is multiplicity is because someone is knowing that there is multiplicity someone is seeing the multiplicity someone is experiencing the multiplicity in other words there is a drashta there is a seer to see it there are two types of expressions of delusion or adhyasa what is adhyasa adhyas is delusion snake on the rope is adhyasa mirage water is an adhyasa rainbow is a adhyasa 
वेकिंग ड्रीम डीप स्लीप मेडिटेशन और अध्यास ऑन द कॉन्शियसनेस दैट आई एम देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ डेल्यूजन और अध्यास ध्यास इज डिफाइंड एज अपियरेंस विद रियालिटी ध्यास इज डिफाइंड एज अपियरेंस विद रियालिटी वन इज वन इज अर्थध्यास एंड द अदर इज ज्ञानाध्यास सो नाउ Swami ji is explaining that there are two type of dhyasas, two type of appearances. One is artha dhyasa, and the other is dhyana dhyasa. One with knowledge, appearance with knowledge, and appearance with artha. Artha is object, objective knowledge. So, what is the objective uh, delusion and नॉलेजेबल डेल्यूजन ज्ञानाध्यास सो वॉट हाउ डू यू अप्रोच इट ही सेज अर्थाध्यास इज दैट विच अपियर्स इन इट्स ओन एबसेंस बट इट्स एबसेंस इज सपोर्टेड बाय अ प्रेजेंस लाइक द स्नेक ऑन द रोप बट द प्रेजेंस द एग्जिस्टेंस दैट इज द रोप is untouched by this adhyasa superimposition called the snake therefore artha adhyasa artha adhyasa is snake so artha adhyasa is objective snake is but the snake is supported by a substratum and that substratum is that uh, rope so our attention is only on the objective delusion therefore artha dhyasa is snake so dhyasa appearance of objectivity and what is the object here snake so what is the understanding there that the substratum alone is the truth the appearance of the snake on the rope is ha- happening in the absence of the snake so snake is appearing in its own absence snake the ra- the rainbow is appearing in its own absence the mirage water is appearing in its own absence the snake is appearing in its own absence the ornament is appearing in its own absence the gold the earth is ever there so taking the objectivity objectivity to be objectivity theek hai hai when you see a mirage water as i was telling you before when you see a mirage water you don't try to remove it you don't try to drink it you don't try to dry it you don't get affected by it you don't take a bath in it so oh, so so we got free water let's collect it we don't do that because you know it is artha dhyasa that it is existing in its own absence there is no doubt and therefore there is no pursuit of the mirage waters therefore there is no pursuit of the uh, rainbow हा बट वी परस्यू अवर बॉडी वी परस्यू दिस वर्ल्ड विच इंक्लूड्स दिस बॉडी सो समवेर अवर थिंकिंग इज गोइंग रॉन्ग 
See, this, we are giving example from your life only. So this has to, you sit down quietly, contemplate on this, what is being told, that if I don't run after the uh, mirage waters, then why am I running after the world? If I can't drink the mirage waters and quench my thirst, then why am I running after this world and trying to quench my thirst? If I cannot drown in the mirage waters, then why am I afraid of death in this world? Questions to be pondered upon. Not just live a mechanical life. Zara sochiye. Think. Contemplate on this. And only once you need to be convinced, that's all. But we're not allowing ourselves to be convinced of this. Because we've got too many eggs in the basket of the world. Nani, I'll sort all this out, then I will think about this. Who I am. It will never be solved. So this is Artha Dhyasa. Second, Jnana Dhyasa. Jnana Dhyasa is that where instead of seeing the rope as rope, one sees the rope as a snake. Hmm? Jnana Dhyasa is that where instead of seeing the rope as a rope, one sees the rope as a snake. In this experience of the snake, because of the experience of the snake or because of the seer of the snake, so the snake is being seen because of the snake or is the snake being seen because of the seer too? In the first one, Arthadhyasa, we just accepted it. It's only an appearance. But in the second one, Jnanadhyasa, where instead of seeing the rope as a rope, one sees the rope as a snake. Now you are imagining. And is this experience of the snake because of the appearance of the snake or because of the seer of the snake? In fact, they are mutually dependent. Therefore, Jnana Dhyasa is knowledge of the superimposed illusion. So, Jnana, again, appearance of knowledge. We are not talking about the infinite self-knowledge. What is this appearance of uh, knowledge? Appearance of knowledge of the snake. And this appearance of the knowledge of the snake is on account of two things. One is appearance of the snake instead of the rope and then the experience of this, uh, uh, the snake, experiencer of the snake, which is I, the seer of the snake. So did the seer come first and the snake came afterwards or the snake came first and the seer came afterwards? No, they are mutually dependent. Did the wife come first and then the husband came or the husband came first and then the wife? You no, know, they are both mutually dependent. They appear only when the other is exactly the same way. The seer of the snake and the snake appear at the snake, same time. This is Jnana, jnana Dhyas. In fact, they are mutually dependent. Therefore, Jnana Dhyas is knowledge of the superimposed illusion. So, recognizing that both the experiencer of the snake and the experienced snake are both illusions. Come to this conclusion. So the experiencer of the world and the experienced world, both are illusions. Why? 
they go away then the dreamer with the dream world that is the experience that you are having as the dreamer that also goes away and it's continuously changing so where there is permanency consciousness is one without a second ever existing principle but you are going out of existence every day to sleep to dream so where have we touched the unchanging consciousness or be or uh, where have we directly come to be the unchanging consciousness when in this manner the attention is turned on the experiencer the seer rather than the experienced the snake on the perceiver and not on the perceived then one learns not to be not to get agitated by the names and forms and turns the attention to the substratum which is illuminating the presence of the names and forms as well as their absence meaning when we shift our attention to the experiencer so right now you are experiencing the snake called the multiplicity you are experiencing the snake the illusory snake called this world and this body what is there what is the substratum of the world which includes this body breath mind intellect it's the truth sat but what are you experiencing the variety what is happening you are getting caught up in the variety you are seeking the variety you want to own the variety your thirst for the variety is only increasing not decreasing then how to unclutch from all this the teacher is saying contemplate on the seer who is this seer who is this experiencer of the variety thinking about the variety is not going to give us any conclusion reading book after book is not going to read, give us any conclusion until unless we become subjective subjective means who is the seer who is the experiencer who is the knower find out and as a result yeah the seeker here instead of putting the attention on the objects he puts his attention on the subject itself the seeker instead of being engaged in the objectivity in the perceived he shifts his attention to the subject subject itself or the perceiver seer experiencer first he was outwards extrovert looking at the objects no amount of no amount of changing the objects in the room is going to change the room only a perception of the room will change but the room remains the same no amount of using the words and or being objective is ever going to make us transcend the the objectivity and when that is the approach then such people they go from text to text scripture to scripture religion to religion guru to guru ashram to ashram pilgrimage to pilgrimage why the approach is objective they are seeking an answer from the outside not possible so here teacher says 
when in this manner the attention is turned on the experiencer the seer rather than the experienced the snake on the perceiver snake on the perceiver and not on the perceived then one learns not to get agitated by the names and forms and turns the attention to the substratum which is illuminating the presence of the name and forms as well as their absence so the moment we shift our attention to the conscious principle the seer the perceiver the experiencer etc the moment i shift my vision which is illuminating all the forms to illuminate the eyes themselves everything becomes null and void everything all the specificity of forms starts melting away similarly when we shift our attention from objective pursuit to the subject then all objective thoughts start melting away this is to some extent it is happening when you go to sleep when you think of sleep all the thoughts of the world just melt away from your mind it is your experience every night apply it properly consciously then see the magic then one is not agitated by the names and forms we are not afraid of the mirage waters but we are afraid of the world oh my god what if the thief comes what if that fellow comes what if the accident happens what if the cancer comes what if this happens what if death comes what if what if what if what if why world is taken to be real i the pure consciousness has equal value for the waking and the dream states on the one side and deep sleep on the other what is light and dark light is i explained before day is the waking and the dream where objects are perceived and absence of objects in the waking and dream is known as sleep who is knowing in whose presence the waking dream and the deep sleep are coming and going in whose presence is it someone outside or is it in our presence in my presence it's happening be that presence to be that presence you have to shift well to to be the presence you don't have to do anything but you are find if you are finding it hard then shift your attention from the objective to the subjective the waker dies the moment the dream is born and there is a new waker for every waking experience so also the chida bhas which is illuminating the next thought thus for every thought there is a separate chida bhas but the thought frequencies are so fast that an illusion of continuity of chida bhas is created it is like an alat chakra that is moving firebrand mandukya this example we have given you many times but see what are we doing we are considering that yesterday's waker is the same waker today why from the childhood till today i am the same person it is the same worker waker i am pursuing the same waking life oh i was a young boy 
20, 30, 40 years ago. Now I am a, a, a teenager or youth or grown up. Tomorrow I will be one more day older. Oh my God. But what is the truth? It is unchanging. See? So, in one appearance called the waking, I am imagining another thing in this appearance, the continuity in the waking from yesterday to today, from today to tomorrow. And only living in this imaginary virtual uh, world full of imaginations. How much more destructive can we be for, of our own happiness? Forget about others, our own happiness. Do we need to change anything? No. Except change, shift your attention to the conscious principle that you are. So what is this? So here he is saying that Chidabhas Every time you put your hand in the river, is it the same river? Is it the same waters? No. Exactly the same way. Every time a thought is created in your mind, the thought is a product of what? The now I am looking here. I am looking at the book, then I am looking at the desk, desk. then I am looking at the laptop, then I am looking at the first person, uh, Usha, then I am looking at Nagaraj, I am looking at Suruj. Every time I am looking, is it the same person looking? Or is it a different person looking? Every time I blink my eyes, am I again opening it to the same world or it is a different world? Every time I wake up in the morning, am I waking up to the same world which I left yesterday or it's absolutely brand new world? Every time I breathe, am I breathing the same air or it's absolutely new <laughs> air which is going in, fresh air going in? Every time I'm speaking, am I speaking the same word or every word is unique? At that moment, it has come out never to be repeated again. Every time I think, it may be the word or consciousness, 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 Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Sri Ram. Word is the same, but is the thought of the uh, the thought of Sri Ram or Om? Is it a new thought every time, or is it the same thought getting recycled? It is a new thought. What is the genesis of a thought? Just like I cannot come to see any object in this world until and unless my eyes don't illuminate it. Exactly the same way, no, no thought can be, can, uh, be cognized 
or come into existence if chirabhas is not illuminating it just like no object in the world trees plants waters etc etc nothing can be perceived in pitch black pitch darkness but it is perceived moment the light comes light falls on it so what is this light which falls on the conscious on the thought to make it become available are you the light are you the thought or are you the witness of the thought appearing and disappearing your experience is you are the witness of the thought appearing and disappearing just like you are the witness of the breath coming in and going out you are the witness of the eye illuminating the object then illuminating this object then illuminating that object then illuminating this you are observing from here you are the witness then who is this fellow this is the this is the fact then who is this fellow who says i am seeing i am hearing i am touching i am feeling i am thinking this illumination of every thought is happening at such a great speed because the thoughts are coming in our mind at such a great speed and you can put all the thoughts under three categories four categories waking dream deep sleep and meditation samadhi and they are going on at such a great speed and within that there are other circles going on we are talking about here the the person who takes the ownership so they are happening at any given moment only one thought can appear i cannot or at one go look at uh, usha also and look at nagraj also i'll give be squint eyed then can't be possible only one thing at a time similarly light can illumine only one object at a time the and that, that light which illuminates every thought as it appears because only one thought can appear in your mind at a time only one thought can appear in your mind at a time and that reflected consciousness when it for when it uh, uh, illuminates the object called thought it is called chidabhas reflected consciousness now the thoughts are going at such a speed and the Re- reflection of consciousness is also with every thought there is a reflection of consciousness this alata chakra this continuous uh, 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 circular movement of a, 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 a match stick or a phool jhadi ko kya bolte hain fire cracker what is that sparkler sparkler so that sparkler is there when you turn it around it is only at one place at one given moment but it is happening so fast there is an illusion of continuity of the light it seems so real you stop you for split second you will see the circle continuing that imaginary non existing but appearing circle is called individuality ab kar lo kya karna hai now do in english now do what you are supposed to do <laughs> can you stop the circular movement can't it is it is happening all we can do is come back to being the consciousness then we'll watch then we'll watch the circular movement but we'll not get caught up in the circular movement
that's the knack so here the teacher is saying that uh, therefore to the students argument that the existence of ignorance can be established because of drishya pradartha means the objectives uh, ob object objects or uh, padartha the teacher replies the drishya padartha exist because you are there for a dead man the objective world does not exist the objective world exists only for a living person now find out what is the difference between a dead person and a living person what is that one factor which is making absence of which is making a person dead and making a person alive be attentive of that principle the drishya padartha exists because you are there this is the vision of the wise person the vision of the wise person is ever self oriented not object oriented subject oriented he allows seeing to happen without becoming a seer he allows experience to happen without becoming an experiencer and so on what mistake are we doing we see and we become the seer we experience we become the experiencer we uh, uh, listen and we become the listener we never remain as the constant one the vision which sees only the ignorance the world its miseries etc as the main points of focus takes one away from the truth <laughs> every human being has a choice well every seeker has a choice what is the choice is he seeking the world those people who are pursuing the world are also seekers they want to satisfy their desires of the world they are seeking but when you are coming to such a class what are we seeking are we seeking the higher in spite of the world in spite of the attractions of the world in spite of the entangles in the world in spite of the duties of the world so what is the language which we speak is it a complaint pessimistic negative or are we ever enthusiastic about life inspired about life only seeing the possibilities the higher possibilities that with those which remain unexplored or we take every opportunity of our existence to be the conscious principle that we are where are we sitting in our cells but the vision of the mahatma as of bhagwan shri of bhagwan shri krishna takes a realistic standpoint and sees everything as nothing but pure consciousness because of which the world is existing the world acquires reality because of the seer who is existence consciousness and bliss who is independent of everything how can such a pure consciousness be called ignorance parmatma has that potentiality to manifest in the form of multiplicity the world is not because of ignorance so conclusion is the world is not because of ignorance it is out of the love 
it is at out of the this example comes the waves on the ocean the multiplicity on the ocean does it come from ignorance or does it come from the waters it comes from the water what is the need for the water to become ocean and waves what is the need of the waters to become tsunami and tides and froth and uh, uh, bubbles what is the need no need then why out of its joy the need this example you have given before the need the 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 movement of the water in the river also produces waves rapids uh, droplets froth everything is created but what is there all those th ripples are created by the need of the river to merge into the ocean on the ocean also ripples are created froth is created droplets are created what is the need of the ocean to experience itself it is doing it out of it is happening out of joy of the ocean by being himself and this is the angle here in ishwara advayavad the whole creation is not an expression of ignorance the whole creation is the expression of the joy of that one infinite one out of that joy he became shiva parvati he did not are yaar ab kya ho gaya ab kya karu chalo shiva parvati ban jate hain he did not out of depression he didn't become two out of joy he manifested as two then the two manifested as three then it went on and on and on and on so the entire manifestation of the creation out of that one infinite is the result of the bliss of experience not out of any need not out of any frustration now you see you get up in the morning are are again it is monday i have to go to work for the whole week you are starting you you are the creator and how you are starting fully deflated not fully inflated are we speaking with inspiration are we listening with inspiration and joy सोचो एवरी मोमेंट इट शुड बी अ मोमेंट ऑफ अबैंडनमेंट अन अटैच्ड अन एंटेंगल्ड फ्री अलाउइंग द वर्ल्ड टू बी प्लेड टू एक्सप्रेस टू अन एक्सप्रेस so world does not world is not because of ignorance the world is because the conscious is the consciousness is there and you are that consciousness so be aware of the consciousness be aware of yourself rather than the world and whatever is to happen in the world it is going to happen anyway <clears throat> Parmatma has that potentiality to manifest in the form of multiplicity. The world is not because of ignorance. Conclusion. <clears throat> Once such a vision is firmly established, 
where is the question of grief or delusion once we have established that you are the eternal seer the eternal witness the moment you are that eternal everything drops away anyway then where is the question grief only comes when you see multiplicity when you are giving the validity to multiplicity as multiplicity if you see the multiplicity as an manifestation of the self then no problem no grief no sorrow very subtle point if you see the world as an expression of the self manifestation of the self no problem if you see the world as a manifestation of ignorance then kama krodha lobha moha madha matsara these will be the norm choose wisely if the knower in the knower all beings have become one in his own atman where has the whole dream world gone once you wake up where did they come out from from the mind where have they gone back to the mind where were they existing in the mind what is the mind consciousness consciousness with thoughts variety multiplicity is called mind consciousness with a dichotomy of subject and object is called mind so in the dream the subject was the dreamer and object was the entire dream world so did it come out of frustration or out of the joy oh i think it is the unfinished thoughts of the day and which have come out leave all that that is another angle of approach here we are listening to nyaneshwar maharaj there is nothing called ignorance everything is an expression of that blissful consciousness in fact ever blissful consciousness all sugar dolls are in essence the same sugar irrespective of their different shapes and names huh what sugar or biscuit you get the teddy bear biscuits and the kangaroo biscuit and this bit but all of them are made out of flour all the dolls of different shapes but made out of sugar all the waves but made out of water all the ornaments but made out of gold but nothing but the gold and water and sugar similarly all the names and forms all the dolls called you this, this all the names that are appearing including this what are they made up of the sugar called consciousness where is that consciousness who is that consciousness i am that consciousness accept 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 or be conscious of the consciousness simple therefore when the world is nothing but the manifestation of excellent existence of knowledge how can it be it be described as being born of ignorance hmm? it cannot be a number of examples are given in the next four ovs again he is giving examples many of them he has repeated because you wants to hone in the point in the mind of the seeker he is he is coming from his direct experience he says 
आघात चंद्रापासोनी उजळ जेणे राबिली वस्तू धवळ तया ते काजळ म्हणे जसे ओ सर कॅन वी कॉल दॅट शूट विच पेंट्स अँड ऑब्जेक्ट विदर अँड ब्राईटर दॅन इवन द मून सो कॅन द सूट सूट इज ब्लॅक कॅन द ब्लू सूट ब्लॅक सूट कॅन कॅन इट एव्हर पेंट अँड ऑब्जेक्ट ब्राईटर दॅन द मून ट्रॅक्टन दॅन दी इल्युमिनरी नॉट पॉसिबल आगीचे काज पाणी निफजा जरी आणि अज्ञान इया वाहणी मानू तरी ते इफ वॉटर कॅन फंक्शन ॲज फायर देन वी कॅन ॲक्सेप्ट दिस सेल्फ ॲज इग्नोरन्स इज गिव्हन टू एक्झाम्पल्स हिअर इफ द डार्क सूट कॅन बी पेंटेड अँड इट अपियर्स ॲज ब्राईट and the second if water can appear as fire then we will accept that the self is of the nature of ignorance if water can be used for burning then only then uh, one can accept to call knowledge as ignorance unless the notion that the world is because of maya or ignorance is dropped unless the seeker drops the word maya or ignorance from his mind from his vocabulary completely you will never hear a saying this is all because of maya no all this is because of the consciousness we never say you will never never have heard us saying that मजाक मे कभी बोल दिया होगा तो बोल दिया होगा अनलेस द नोशन दॅट द वर्ल्ड इज बिकॉज ऑफ माया और इग्नोरन्स इज ड्रॉप द इग्नोरन्स विल कंटिन्यू टू इन्फ्लुएन्स वन एंड ऑल द मोर द इम्पॉर्टन्स इज गिव्हन टू द रिलेटिव्हिटी अँड द इंडिव्हिज्युअलिटी द फादर वन इज फ्रॉम वन्स ओन एसेन्शियल नेचर to be a wave is not the tragedy but to suffer as a wave is the wave can be happy if its vision is fixed on the substratum the ocean now you do the whole journey is told here in this one paragraph to be a wave is not a problem but to suffer as a wave is a problem to be a, a to be a person is not a problem to suffer as a person is a problem question is that person's consciousness you are a conscious person so your consciousness your understanding of yourself is what is it gaunatma is it mithyatma or is it mukhyatma as mukhyatma you will never suffer as gaunatma and mithyatma you will only suffer that experience of joy as an virtual person or virtual person husband wife etc illusory person man woman etc the joy that you experience is only a temporary minuscule joy rest is all 99.999% is only suffering if you analyze it but you we want to live in the fools world you know no 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 how can that be i studied all vedanta to only to be told that uh, uh, i have wasted my life until we don't give zero value to this world to this experience and 100% value to the consciousness that we are till then we are in this alat chakra alat chakra waking dream deep sleep waking dream deep sleep sometimes meditation again waking dream deep sleep again waking dream out of the 
50 60 70 80 years that you uh, you live how many times you sometimes go into the meditative poise uh, you can count tak 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 so our reality is what we give importance and value to do you give importance and value to the world of objectivity or do we give importance and value and attention to the subjective principle the conscious principle that i am whom do you give importance this choice you can only make we can only talk about it to you choice you have to make and implement you have to and that implementation should be effortless implementation just by without doing anything you have to implement it in the same way wisdom lies in going beyond the three planes of consciousness in their totality transcending all nine factors of the three states simultaneously then all the problems of the waking state disappear during the waking state ha huh? during the ha huh? all the problems of the waking state disappear during the waking state why sadhana contemplation shifting of the attention being the consciousness as the consciousness can happen only or as a practice can happen only in the waking state in deep sleep you cannot do it in dream the thoughts are too fast when a wave looks at other waves only fear when the wave looks within it sees only the infinite waters no fear or are we afraid to look at ourselves no i got so many bad things which i have done in my life we didn't ask you to look into your mind and memories or thoughts we asked you to shift your attention to the consciousness that you are not the memories that you are let them come let them go away so when we put attention on the consciousness then we transcend all the three or four planes of consciousness thereafter the problem or the issues or the suffering arising from waking dream and deep sleep and meditation all of them become null and void zero and this sadhana this practice can be done only in the waking state waking state being the satvik state waking state being the state where we can be conscious of our own consciousness other states are not conducive meditation can be but not dream and deep sleep so with this another example is taken what is the time hmm. leave it at this point it is a good contemplative point ha huh? so let's all make a commitment to be the consciousness not the individual consciousness challenge yourself to be the total or the infinite consciousness p 
be totally allow our worry is how will we function in the world when that worry is unfounded the sun doesn't worry where how the day and night will come they come they go you just be the light in whose presence everything is happening or not happening is the most freeing live in abandonment of being the consciousness om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namah hari om I'll send I'll 